Uh, the next uh, speaker is Xavier Alupu. The presentation will be about cathodic protection, but first I will say a few words about Xavier. Uh, Xavier Alupu worked at Freycine during the development of the FIB guide on protection, repair and strengthening of concrete structures, bulletins 102 and 103. The, the next webinar will be about uh, Bulletin 103. Uh, Xavier uh, is, since uh, 2021, an independent uh, corrosion and cathodic protection consultant, and he founded uh, Seco Corrosion Consulting. He has more than 25 years of experience in the oil, in the oil and gas and civil engineering sectors, he specialized in research and development of cathodic protection solutions, marketing, and technical service. He has a PhD in organic chemistry from the University of Orsay and is a corrosion and CP expert level five as per EN ISO 15257 for inland and concrete sector and CP specialist level four for marine sector. He is also a corrosion trainer and examiner for the CP certification. Uh, so now I ask Xavier to please uh, start the presentation whenever you're ready. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eduardo, for this introduction. We I think it, it is much more a, a close, a short presentation because I think all, the, all it is in the in, in the documents. But first, to 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 thanks uh, the others and the team we built with Carmen, with Veronique, Olivier, Arnaud, and Frank, in order to 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 build this this document. Uh, and I will thank all the reviewers, as you see, so Laurent, Takashi, Koichi, Atsuro, Jose, Rob, and, and Takao. Okay, so we 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 work uh, on this on these topics uh, of the chopper files with dealing with sacrificial and not catalytic protection, so SECP, and infrared current catalytic protection ICCP. So it is both mostly for concrete repair in atmospheric exposed structures. Okay, we are not talking of uh, um, uh, of emerge or, or, or submerge or left or submerge or, or buried structures that could be also uh, protected by by catalytic protection. Um, some some forward on what is catalytic protection. Okay, so uh, as you know, catalytic protection is in electrochemical is both is part of electrochemical electrochemical treatment, but long term. Uh, and it is uh, really the method for limiting the corrosion rate of steel, okay? And uh, so through the application of a very electronegative uh, direct uh, current, and, and so to, 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 to add the, 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 the natural potential of, of the corrosion potential of steel uh, and to obtain more negative value to the catalytic side. Um, so all the all this was was defined, and all the criteria was defined. The ISO twelve six nine six, and the document the twelve six nine six was referred to two thousand and seventeen or sixteen, but there is a new review uh, review documents norms in two thousand and twenty two. That's all this year, and there is there is certain modification or or or, or, or adding. Uh, regarding a design, regarding um, uh, what we expect uh, of the catalytic protection and, and criteria and monitoring. So uh, we're talking about catalytic prevention because we're kind of also talking about catalytic prevention. So prevention, it is at the first age of the structures. So we'll see, we've got a, a, case, a, a case study on that. And, and typically it is to apply and to, to prevent a, 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 um, the current uh, catalytic protection current, uh, but quite small because all normally at the first age, uh, uh, the main structures and the main rebar are, are passive. So it is really to maintain, really to maintain as prevention the, the passivity uh, on the steel in, in concrete. Uh, but with the low cover, okay, we know that we may have some problems. 
Um, there is a third definition that is current control. So the current control as we see, we've got the presentation of occlusion inhibitors, and, and I think it is much more because it is not uh, um, it is not active as we say that there is now uh, uh, an extra technical treatment to do that, but much more to consist of corrosion control and to consider that we can uh, achieve uh, the problems of uh, of corrosion cell uh, between a very small uh, analytic area where we got the um, uh, initiation of corrosion and rebar, considering considering the rest of the structure that are the very large cathodes, uh, and so we've got. A, a galvanic coupling. Okay, so the question is, uh, it was it is to maintain first corrosion control and then perhaps and more than to to control uh, through uh, the reduction and very significant reduction of the corrosion rate. Okay, um, so the aim is that the current is passed to the reinforcement. Okay, from an external hazard. And so that the, we've got an electron flow uh, inside the connection between the anodes and the cathodes. And we've got uh, ionic current. So we've got the loop, the current, actually current, then uh, uh, then uh, ionic current. So we've got two, uh, um, two sketches. So first, uh, we can see on the right uh, the sacrificial anodes. So we connect direct uh, anodes. So we put anodes in the mainly in the cover or on the on the structures uh, we'll see that there is different type of anodes um, it is globally it is zinc based zinc anodes uh, for for uh, galvanic uh, cathodic protection and so we make we can make a direct contact between the anode and the rebar on through boxes in order to uh, monitor uh, the anodic current um, in some case, or for very long cathodic protection, we have to add a generator in the link between uh, the anodic uh, part and, and, and the rebar. And because the structures, the concrete struct, the concrete, okay, is quite uh, a quite high resistivity. Uh, and so we have to fight again this uh, electrical resistance of concrete. And uh, and in case of a large structure, we need to um, we need to to drive uh, quite a large amount of current. And also, if the structure is um, uh, is what we can say, the pollution is quite important. So for 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 mainly for marine structures. Okay, so um, we have to we have to use a very large. Uh, a very important uh, current density, okay, to, to protect uh, the steel rebar. Um, so the different type of anode that we say are so the first embedded inside the concrete or in the cover. But it would be it could be discrete anodes, could be different anodes, could be the larger anodes, okay, put inside the the concrete, or it could be applied on the concrete structures, okay. So applying the concrete structures for impressed current system, we've got the mesh. The, the added mesh system embedded in uh, short crate, for example, or, or concrete. And um, and for gabbany canard, we've got a bin layer hanard, so it is glued, or we've got the, uh, um, uh, the spray zinc uh, on the cover, so we get different types of, of, of hanard. Okay, so it's much more to present the summary of the document, so we've got all the basics forward stakeholder qualification. We've got some words on that regarding the honors, uh, the knowledge and uh, and skill of the honors regarding corrosion and corrosion of the structures and methods or treatments we can apply on that. Also, to have some designer, the designer according to the 12696 norms uh, should be. Um, Habilitate or, 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 or have, a, have a certificate in catalytic protection. So in Europe, uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, in, um, in many countries we've got the certification of of personnel regarding catalytic protection. And also for the contractor to be sure that he was very involved in that job and that works, and it is part of the repair strategy. According to the design, if you just have a look at the sketch. 
The question is, we go from the structures, and at the end, we have to define, for example, for high CCP, we have to define uh, a feeder of get the generator of current. So um, there is really a method methodology, uh, and this methodology, um, uh, um, uh, um, we need to have input data. The input data came from the diagnosis. So the diagnosis is quite, quite, quite very important uh, to have information regarding uh, and the pollution, uh, what is the, the what is the, the, the level of corrosion, uh, what is the covers, what is the exposition, what is uh, and so on and so on the concrete, the concrete resistance, the concrete resistivity, in order to design uh, a, a, a proper catalytic protection for those factors. Uh, if you see, uh, we talked about selection of anodes, selection of zone. Okay, so we have we want to see something very homogeneous on the structures, or we know that the complex structures could be very heterogeneous. There is different size, there is different exposure, and there is a uh, catalytic protection uh, has to be integrated to the global okay uh, repair strategy. Okay, uh, and we've got a main calc calculation of the surface to protect uh, the current intensity to apply for the calculation of the current. The capacity of, of the anodes uh, to, 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 to give current and the limit of the of the of this current uh, because there is some limit on certain anodes or or arcadings or limit on certain uh, uh, voltage applied uh, in some for example for in chloride environment uh, we we are not uh, able to 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 apply very large voltage um, on on anodes like uh, uh, titanium substrate with metal metal oxide uh, um, uh, catalysm uh, oxide. Okay, so the design is could be relatively like, strong and very robust at the end. So we got the end the measure all under quality control, and at the end the monitoring and maintenance because uh, if we apply an impress current system, we need to follow the system for all the life of the structures. Okay, so. It's very, very, very important. So it is the main summary. So we've got a lot of things regarding to materials, uh, to service life, to design assumption, design procedure, uh, preparatory works, uh, execution, uh, quality control, uh, monitoring according to all the app cells we will use to monitor the system. And at the end, the maintenance and long-term maintenance. Okay, so at the end, there is, okay, it is only a few words on that, but okay. The only thing that is to say that according to current standards, I want to be very clear for everybody that um, catalytic protection is very uh, uh, deals with uh, with European standards and US standards also. So we've got the ISO 12696. So I put 2022 because we've got this new one. Um, uh, we've got the NICE SP0290, uh, uh, um, formerly I think there is a new one also, but it is impressed current, according to impressed current, but also for sacrificial hazards, um, cutting protection of reinforced uh, things, still in atmospheric mode, okay? If we look to the 12696, it, it deals also for submerged and buried still concrete structures. Um, and we've got the ISO 15257. Uh, it's very important. It is at the standard for the competence level of catalytic protection person. Okay, so we've got five levels from uh, from workers to expert, and uh, and uh, and globally, we uh, it is very complete. Com uh, I'm not, I'm not Complete, complete. Uh, um, we talked about okay, according to these norms, we're talking about cutting protection for land, for marine, and for concrete structures. Okay, um, uh, if we look to, uh, we've got also certification, the NACE certification uh, uh, all over uh, in US, and it is much more for uh, land application and and marine ap application. But we've got in. Uh, We've got this this ISO documents now, and and it is it is worldwide. Uh, it could be worldwide applied. 
because at the end, if I look to ICCP system, I look to Android use, uh, because we know that the anodes, the, 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 the anodes we use for Titanium and Nemo anodes uh, uh, are able uh, to, um, to give currents more, more than 100 years. And we've got some tests for that uh, on manufacturing plants or labs, plants, and so on, so on, to make some control of that. Regarding uh, um, galvanic anodes or sacrificial anodes, um, regarding things mostly for uh, atmospheric uh, structures, uh, concrete structures. Uh, well, looked about 20 years, could be 25 or could be 15 to 25, depending on the mass or the mass of things included in the structures. So there is may, many discussion according to galvanic anodes. You say, yeah, we may have some sodium anodes. Uh, it slips, it doesn't matter because there is no risk of corrosion. But anyway, the question has to be sure. And now, according to the 2619, to control it and to monitoring. And at the end, to, to, to are able to, to prove uh, that uh, the criteria uh, is there, uh, according to the chapter 8.6 of the 12696, and this, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and not for short term, but for long term. Okay, so because the the, the ISO twelve six nine six is a norm of uh, it's a performance norm. Okay, so uh, we need to reach. It, it, in any case, if you are not <laughs> in the criteria, okay, we can have discussion according to to, to expert. It is it is it is in an, in an annex in the new twelve six nine six. Is okay, okay. The the, the criteria are, are not reached, and the question is. Uh, does it work? Does it work or not? It should be a discussion between the owners, designers, contractors, in order to say, okay, we know that we know that cathode protection, or, or, or uh, there is some case, or, or, or to 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 obtain the criteria, it could be it could be difficult, or uh, uh, the system is not designed for that. So, but the question is. Uh, uh, we need to be sure that there is no counteract uh, of the of the system, but to be sure that it works properly. Or and we are well, much more talking about corrosion control. Okay, so okay, we may have some an, an effect, and the question is, uh, 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 we are not able to monitor it. Okay, we'll see perhaps in ten years or fifteen years. Uh, 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 but uh, in any case, we are we cannot prove that. Uh, the criteria are obtained. And I think it's quite a very important thing. Um, so in the document, we've got two case study. The first uh, case study it is uh, the application of cathodic protection in press current system on a very large viaduct and the in the entry of, of Paris. It is really uh, it is uh, it is a very large structures. Um, uh, and uh, uh, the other, the problem is we've got some problem of drainage uh, of the subsurface of the subsurface of the viaduct, and so we've got a lot of pollution by the the icing salt. It is to protect the girders. Okay, if you look at the right. sketch. Okay, so uh, because this part was was very fully corroded, we got a very problem of spalling of the covers. We've got we we will see on the picture we will see the Seine, so the river. Uh, but there is now a serious pedestrian on the on the on the shore, and uh, so we get uh, we got cars, car parks, and so on, so on. So the question it is really all there is a, a repair strategy to to refurbish all this viaduct, and so to also fight against next corrosion, okay, and the corrosion we have got in the rebar. Uh, of the structure. So there is implementation of, of, of more than 50,000 discrete anodes, as you see uh, on, the, on the sketch. Uh, so it is very uh, long anodes. It is 20 centimeter, very thin. It is less than centimeter. So we drill, okay, we, we put the anodes, and all the anodes are connected, some in some southern zone connected together. And, uh, and connect to the generator and so on. So, and there is more than 50 generator on the on this viaduct to protect all this this garbage. So, um, there is a large part of the diagnosis, uh, uh, an important field trial, 
uh, because in such case, it is better to have a pilot test to be sure that uh, the tube of the anodes and so on and so on works very properly. We've got, we've got some difference of the concrete resistivity in this in the structures. It could be double. Uh, so at the resistivity, we've got, got uh, is double. The problem is, okay, for the design. Um, and then we've got, okay, special constraint because there is also uh, um, price stress uh, water in a, a, in the in the spectres. So we need to pay attention to the price stress wire to monitor them to have very uh, special zone for that in order to be sure that we don't have any uh, um, bad effect uh, uh, according to the problem of uh, hydrogen. Uh, generation uh, uh, of the cathodes due to uh, over polarization, over cathodic, uh, cathodic uh, uh, over polarization. Okay, at the point. Okay, so um, it works now, I think, uh, more than five years and it's very properly, and there is monitoring on that. So we got really, uh, uh, it was uh, very well. Um, um, uh, described in the documents uh, of this case study one. The second case study is much more uh, regarding cathodic prevention. Uh, so it is in the French territory uh, in the Indian Ocean, um, close to Madagascar, is the name of it is Reunion Island. Okay, and uh, and there is uh, the, the things now it's finished in two years. There is a very large viaduct of 4.5 kilometers uh, uh, on the seaside, okay, because uh, there is a many problem on the on the onshore side. Uh, or the, the the old the old road uh, should be uh, closed because there is a lot of uh, rocks and so on and so on due to rain period, raining period, and there is many problems. And uh, the cathodic prevention was uh, was uh, designed for the 48 uh, piers uh, of the viaduct, and we protect also the submerged zone, so with discrete anodes in the water, and then we protect also the um, the 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 tidal zone. Uh, with ribbon hanets uh, put inside the inside the the concrete cover uh, on three meters, and uh, and uh, all all works so now. So we've got the submerge, we've got the tide, the, the tide. So we've got also the pad, and we know that the pad could be also uh, very large. Uh, um, uh, structures that will consume some currents that uh, we have to. Uh, in the design to take into account uh, all the rebar of, of all the structures. So we've got some project details and get some reference. At the end, the ICCP system was designed for, for 100 years because for now for new structures, it is, it is the deal. It is, uh, 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 we know that uh, the question is, could we uh, obtain uh, without uh, prevention uh, um, uh, uh, a design, a, a corrosion design or non-corrosion design uh, for 100 years, uh, we know that um, could be could be impossible, and uh, that's why uh, in area where uh, we are the, the, the environment is very very um, uh, strong. Uh, okay, here we get uh, uh, we get this very humid uh, a humid area. It is quite close. Well, but more south than Middle East, but but, but quite we got the we got uh, we have a very large change in humidity and 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 hot temperature. That that the point of this cathodic prevention done. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Xavier, for this very interesting presentation. I, I have checked the Q and A. Uh, window. There are no open questions. Well, I think the presentation was quite clear, so there are no, no questions. And so we move on. Thank you once again, Xavier.